The Princess of Wales looked beautiful in pink lacy gown with lace details for the nuptials of Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan and Raja Al Saif today. The wedding, which took place at Zahram Palace in Amman, was attended by royals from all over the world. The Prince and Princess of Wales were beaming as they greeted King Abdullah of Jordan and his wife Queen Ronia. Princess Catherine looked gorgeous in a pale pink maxi dress for the ceremony. The Princess of Wales wore an Ellie Sarp gown from the AW17 RTW collection today and looked mesmerizing. The pale pink gown was long-sleeved with intricate detailing on the cuffs and her waistline. As Kate's gown is from a 2017 collection, it is likely that she has already worn it but not in public. Catherine accessorized with a neutral clutch bag to her look for the royal occasion, Kate styled her hair in bouncy curl and sported her usual natural makeup. For her earrings, Kate wore her unidentified Morganite statement earrings from her private collection today. The princess was accompanied by her husband Prince William, who wore a trouser suit, while other royal guests included Denmark's Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary and Dutch royals King Willem Alexander, Queen Maxima, and Princess Katharina Amalia. Crown Prince Hussein and Raja Al Saif were married in an Islamic marriage ceremony known as Kat Ktab in the gardens at Zaran Palace in Amman, Jordan. Around 140 guests were in attendance at the nuptials, including members of the royal Hashemite family, foreign royals, and heads of state. The British royals will see Crown Prince Hussein, 28, marry Saudi architect Rajwa Al Saif, 29, at Zaran Palace, the same wedding venue chosen by the prince's father, King Abdullah II, and his grandfather, the late King Hussein. Other guests are thought to include Denmark's Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary and Dutch Royals King Willem Alexander, Queen Maxima and Princess Katharina Amalia. The royal couple will be married in an Islamic marriage ceremony known as Kap Ktab in the gardens at Zaram Palace in Amman, Jordan on Thursday at 2 p.m. UK time. Around 140 guests will be in attendance at the nuptials. U.S. First Lady Jill Biden and several members of royal families from around the world have said they will attend, among them the King and Queen of the Netherlands. Later, a wedding reception will take place at Al Husseinia Palace with over 1,700 guests in attendance, and in the evening there will be a wedding banquet attended by members of the royal Hashemite family, foreign and Arab heads of states, and high-ranking officials. Kate and William's appearance at the royal wedding shows the strength of the bond between the British and Jordanian royal families, which goes back years. And in 2021, the couple took their children to Jordan for a private holiday, with a family snap at the ancient city of Petra from that getaway featured on their Christmas card that year. It came after William promised to take his family to Jordan following his 2018 visit there. Before, William and Kate's current trip to Jordan was not announced in advance, with their arrival confirmed by Jordanian state media just a few hours before the start of the palace ceremony. A video shared on Instagram shows the royal couple arriving at the St. Regis Hotel in Amman, with Kate looking chic as ever in one of her go-to outfits, an Alexander McQueen trouser suit teamed with a pair of burgundy heels and a simple white top. Her hair was blow-dried into a sleek style with a mid-parting and tucked behind her ears, showing one of her signature pairs of pearl earrings. Interestingly, she carried a transparent travel bag which no doubt housed some of her essentials, though it's difficult to make out what she was carrying.